Today I'm taking on the challenge to transform a pillager outpost into a massive pillager castle while completing the neighboring custom mountain range and battling pillagers the entire time. This turned into over 40 hours of pure pain. Ow. Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome to my hardcore Minecraft world. Be sure to leave a like on this episode and please subscribe as this has taken a ton of time and pain, lots, lots of pain to put together. First step to building a castle over here is I need to remove the watchtower and everything else. But before I do that, I need a big beacon to stay safe. These, there's gonna be a lot of pillagers here. Let's grab some wither skeleton skulls, a little soul sand, and we're off to kill some withers. The wonderful withers of uh, the nether, some wonderful withers of the nether there we go yeah man i'm so happy i took the time to transform the nether hub this is so fun to fly around in and it looks pretty cool now that we're here in the end dimension we can pretty easily kill some withers right here there we go four nether stars grabbing a little obsidian and glass we can craft four beacons now i just need to go through the process of building a quad beacon now we can get all of our super buffs with resistance to get rid of you throw some speed and regen on there why not and just to take care of this next guy let's throw in some double strength yeah just waiting for the buff there it is Aha. and to make this go faster we can get haste too something tells me i'm gonna be getting a lot of these today we can save them to use on the build though oh no 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 i just started a raid oh i ran home with the buff Oh, that's not good. Oh no, uh, my whole base, all of my leaves, all of my decorative leaves. Okay, you guys come here. Don't you dare kill my villagers or ruin my fields. Okay, I'm just gonna bring you all over here and I think I can get the raid to time out if I just put one of these in a pit. Eventually the raid should time out because it'll see him as alive or we're gonna permanently have a raid here. Oh, I'm not fighting a raid in my base. If a rabbit spawns here, it's gonna kill everything. Uh, <laughs> I just went home to get empty shulker boxes to tear this thing down and I started a raid at my base. That's a rookie mistake right there. I am already starting to regret the idea of this project and I'm just getting started. The pillagers here are going to be a huge pain in the bum and I'm already starting to look like a porcupine and this is just the beginning. I'm so confused. Why is that crossbow so massive? What is going on? Why is that one so big? What is going on? I'm so confused. Before we do anything else here, I need to call upon an ally. I am in need of a cow. Mm. Hello, my bovine friend. Please come with me. You have a very important job to do. Yeah, look how excited he is. No, that's right. You're coming with me. Okay, buddy. You are going to hang out right down here, very far away from everything spooky. And uh, I'll take a bucket of milk for now. Thank you. Wow, that looks so weird without the tower on the top. Dad has been there literally since I started this world. Oh, this is going to be cool to transform it. A cow word no longer i cleared out the remaining structures and trees be free my own golem friend be free destroy the pillagers who have trapped you in here don't rush out all at once yeah oh, oh yeah okay there you gotta be destroy <laughs> no destroy me just just them while he's distracting them we can get to work as i want to build a large castle tower with a single wing coming off of it then creating an enclosed courtyard behind a wall why do i feel like i was just describing something on the great british baking show but i am gonna grab one of these shulker boxes over here that's full of stone as we've got some stuff to lay out i need to quickly run around here and build out some walls to give myself some space to hide from the pillagers now 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 stop it now now can you just stop it think of the great build at the end flip it'll be worth it just just keep going flip you got this just just sorry just been talking to myself over here so this is driving me crazy something like this should work here for the build itself but i want to sort of like a yard around it too so we can add some extra details and don't do it don't don't you dare do it he did it i said no Let's craft down a few stone brick stairs and slabs to be able to spawn proof a top of the new wall. And I think this one's going to start somewhere around here and it's going to actually raise the terrain up. 
Now if we just run along and add in a few torches underneath. I don't know if it stops pillagers from spawning, but uh, I'm gonna hope. Now I just need to come back in with a little bit of our coarse dirt action along the edge here. And we'll double dirt this one to be safe. Buddy, you're supposed to be up there helping me get rid of the pillagers. I know I freed you, but like, I thought, I thought we had a deal. I'm thinking about this point. We're actually gonna have it step down so it starts to move a little bit closer to the gatehouse level okay banner boy uh we're not gonna deal with this you can just go underneath thank you goodbye i think on this we can keep it really simple here and just do something with our full blocks going along and then we just do slabs every other for this outer wall because it doesn't need to be super defensible here yeah i like it we'll definitely texture it more as we get going i'm just trying to get the base shapes in coming around to the back side of the pillager castle we can remove the few that are hanging out here and i I want to repeat the same idea of the yard coming right back through here, except this one is only going to be open on the back end. This closed new yard along the back that we've created here needs to come up a little bit more. Otherwise, we're running right into the mountainside back here, and I'll have to do a little terraforming to create like a moat or something along the back. Oh, hi. Ah, uh, with the wall up, it feels a lot safer in here right now. All right, we can bring that coarse dirt in back again here and get the double dirt action going. Right, there we go. The entire backyard is now in place and hopefully no grass grows up here. I think I got all of the points where it could grow in and put coarse dirt there instead. Oh, hi, buddy. How'd you get stuck in there? Oh, I'm sorry. One final element here. Let's get some spruce logs to craft a bunch of trapdoors. Oh, this is starting to look good. The real presence of a castle is coming in. But we can add all these trapdoors here in between our slabs that we've already added in to finish spawn proofing this for one. And it'll make it so that the pillagers can't jump out. I need a break from the constant fighting here. And my favorite thing about this pillager outpost location is the view of the mountain I have across the valley. Meaning I should probably focus on finishing up the mountain. Yes, here's your foot video mountain update time and we're actually gonna finish it. I hope maybe potentially, I don't know, let's find out. I still have a good amount of blocks left at my mountain shulker monster. So I'm able to get started directly on building up this new large ridge line coming down from the main peak of the mountain right away. where I decided to focus on the top section here, adding in some really bold shapes for the rocks. Before jumping down to spend over an hour placing in even more blocks to finish off this brand new ridge line. I know I'm moving pretty quick through this mountain building process as I've already spent a few months on this and it's just more of the same adding in the blocks here. But that being said, I am so happy with how this is coming together as we connect this ridge down into the default terrain. I did, however, run out of dirt and grass blocks, so I flew north to a nearby mountain mountain range and started to shave off the top layers of dirt to bring back to my new mountain, hopefully to have enough to finish off the entire thing. Where I did instantly jump back into the block placing mode with a lot of dirt blocks going down along the bottom, extending further into the default terrain to more easily merge things together as we move into the next valley along our ridge lines. Where we work back up the slope of the mountain, creating some large rock faces and filling in all of the dirt that I can in between. Flying into this now really sets the scale of the build around us. Flying back in also means I just refilled up on blocks, so I finished off a few new rock faces at the top of the valley, and I'm just letting my brain run along and do its own thing right now instead of forcing myself to work top to bottom or bottom to top. So in this case, I jumped from the top, completely skipped the middle, and started to fill in the dirt at the very bottom of the valley. With that sorted, I was more easily able to make the connection between the two and then filled in all of the rock faces on the right side of a new ridge line. At the base, there was was a pretty natural bowl shape near our horse racetrack, so I decided to fill that in with a pond as water would run off the mountain and get caught down here pretty easily. This is starting to look really good with the addition of this new valley in here and the only space left to fill in is this last slice of the mountain to bring it all home. I never really expected where we had the horse racetrack here to have this such an epic scene right behind it. Oh, it's making me want to do a horse race again here soon. The mountain still has a lot of work to go to finish up this project. So another day and another few shulkers of dirt being placed down. To make this last section a little more interesting and and different, I decided to run a stream down the mountain, so we need to first shape out the path for the water to go and add in a small waterfall section to just keep moving more naturally downwards. 
Wow, excellent. Excellent job throwing a potion there. Wow, you, oh my gosh, they did it again. At this point, I got into a pretty good flow again and just started working wherever my brain wanted to go. I can't say this enough about terraforming projects or just large projects in general, but allowing yourself to jump in and slowly piece it all together will definitely make the project a lot more fun. And to me, I think it moves quicker, which can also help to bring in new ideas like extending the grass here all the way across. And of course, I ran out of materials again, but we're getting there. There's only the top section and this little empty space right there. So close. But that does mean I need another few shulker boxes of dirt, a couple more boxes of stone, a quick trip down in the nether to repair the shovel. And then another casual three hours spent placing down all of the dirt and stone blocks on the mountain to bring this to a close all the way down to the ground level. Where as a final step, I need to finish bringing the stream all the way to the river. Bringing the stream all the way to the river. I want to first raise the road up back here to have a more natural slope for the creek to go all the way down into that river I mentioned. With that done, I brought the water down the rest of the way and detailed out the creek bed. And one final task for today, I need to run around inside the the mountain to light up all of the remaining dark spaces and battling just a few of the mobs that might have already spawned inside of there. Safely made it back out of the mountain and finally the back of said mountain is completed. Man, this just looks so good from over here. <laughs> I am really happy with how this has turned out. Next up, we just texture it, right? Just like, just like that. Yeah, easy, simple. Be done on a flash. Yeah. With that done, we can ease ourselves back into the Pillager Castle project. Grabbing the rest of our coarse dirt. And to be safe, I'm going to craft some more. We're going to need all of the packed mud I have in here. And some spruce slabs where that should do. As we are going to quite literally ease back into this by building a road leading up to the castle. As much as I'm making a joke about these pillagers being annoying, it is pretty fun to finally transform this place into something special to expand the world further north. Right, now that we're all the way up here, we just need to connect ourselves in with what I have kind of going along the rest. So far, I've only had to fight one pillager, so it's going pretty smooth, and I jinxed myself on that one. I earned that. Yep. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, goodbye. Thank you. I'm trying to build you a home. Leave me alone. It'll be fun building around a Minecraft mob that attacks you all the time. Yeah, it'll be so fun giving them a home. Yeah, this is a great idea for a video. Everybody's going to love the video. They're going to leave so many likes on the video. It's going to be so worth all this pain. Right? Right? Well, for the main entrance in here, I'm thinking we transfer into our mud brick like that. And then the rest of this guy will just fill in with the regular dirt that I have to save a little coarse dirt and take out a pillager in the process. Now this zone in here, we can get rid of all of the tall grass and all of the grass blocks themselves. This right here should be great for the inner courtyard with some loose pathways in our mud leading different directions. And I think we'll have a door right about here. The footprint of the castle's pretty ready to go. And there's definitely pillagers in it already. I just want to plant you some flowers, please. Just a little, ow. Just give me, ah, there's another one. I think I need to make these walls a little bit thicker to keep myself safe. So let's get a few blocks together. And I've got a few empty shulkers over here that we can fill up with new blocks. Starting with a quick trip down into the sheep farm where I need some white wool and, oh no, like gray wool. I need four stacks of this stuff. So hopefully these sheepies can give me a good amount. Right, there's three stacks. We're almost there. I'll just let these guys regrow while we do some other stuff in the area. I feel like a pillager outpost requires some dark roofs, which means a lot of deep slate. So down into the branch mines, we're going. You know what? I just almost broke my ender chest here. So I think I'm just gonna leave one and grab one of my extras because every time I bring out the fortune pick, I swear I almost break that. Ender chest is safe, however. So it's time to swing the pickaxe back and forth and gather up a heck of a lot of cobbled deep slate materials. This is something I am always running out of, so I decided to stock up a little bit extra. From here, we can craft a lot of the deep slate down into different states to use for the different roofs. I just realized this is the first time I've mined diamonds in like four months. Makes me miss the big old mining session to get so many riches because <laughs> I got 22 diamonds. Another quick session, shearing up all of our light gray sheepies. 
And that's enough. We can come over here and grab the dark oak that I took out of the tower originally. Oh, I'm getting out of here. That's a good pit stop. Well, I head over to the spruce forest. Uh, I've got a few arrows in me. Guess I haven't been here for a while because none of my trees have regrown. Come on. Guess I gotta not be sustainable and chop down a new one. I also need a good amount of strip spruce logs. Since I also do have a crafting table on me, I decided to just craft down every single spruce block I'm gonna need for this castle build. My wings are pretty dead now, however. So I want to make a quick trip down into the nether to fix them up. I love when experience is just waiting here. Doggies back up to do the rest as there we go. For the main castle, I'd like to do a whitewash texture. So I need diorite, calcite. I think I have some white concrete powder. Yes, here in the starter house. Where we can turn a good amount here into some white concrete. And now we got to mine it all down. Hey, beat the water. Nice. Now for the chimneys, where do I have some polished blackstone? Perfect. That right there should do it. The last item I want to make this castle feel a little like it's falling apart is some tinted glass to put behind the windows. And oh, we've got plenty. I don't know what noise I just made, but uh, we're just gonna roll with it. And I'll sleep at home. Okay, this here should be everything I'm going to need. Let's put that all back down here with my cow friend. To get above the pillagers, I wanna focus on the main castle tower first before doing anything else as we move from the gray stone palette to that whitewash look that that I mentioned before, incorporating a ton of different texturing blocks. I'm very happy with the result here as the base box shape comes together, leaving some space for new buildings to be attached. Like right here. I wanna add a tower in here that's gonna be a, just stop it. Be able to, you know, hide a staircase to get away from these dudes. Ah, come on. I'm just gonna get rid of all of them really quick and I can place like four more. No, dang it, this one behind me. Not you too. You're on the inside. Leave me alone. Well, right here we can use some walls to very easily and casually move our way up and kind of round the corners out. We'll bring it up to about here and that can be a nice door inside once we, you know, remove the glass. To save the family friendliness of this channel, here's a time lapse of me trying to build this tower. Safely on top of the main tower now, away from the villagers, we can tackle this upper level where they can't get me. With the floor in place, I wanna add a wooden layer sticking around the entire outer edge, starting with some upside down spruce stairs here. The pillagers are just following me down underneath. They're just looping around the tower as I go. Moving on from that, I'm gonna be alternating between strip spruce logs and spruce stairs to go around the entire ring. Well, box. It's incredible how much calmer it is up here. There's a full swarm down below me, but ah, uh, it's at least safe up here. And of course, behind all these little arrow slits that we've added in, I'm going to be adding in our tinted glass to make it a little bit darker when you're looking in. Leading finally into a massive deep slate roof reaching high into the sky. Technically, this means the pillager outpost has been transformed into a new tower, right? So like it's done right now? Okay, fine. We'll, we'll build out the rest of... Ah, he despawned. We'll build out the rest of the pillager castle. Let's continue here with the inner courtyard walls as this seems to be the main danger zone for all of the pillager spawns. Using stone, andesite, light gray wool, and concrete powder to work in with the main tower texturing that I've already done. Outside should be a little bit safer for me now that most of the pillagers are actually, uh, you know, behind the wall. And we can start to come back in here and texture this one up a little bit more. I feel like I've been using this color palette a lot recently, but honestly, I just love the look of it. It's so fun to work with different gray tones than our typical just gray stone, you know? No, not making good fun. Get out of here. I'm getting a little of, of the point here where I'm like, all right, where are the pillagers? Where are they? This is too calm. I don't know what's going on here. I can hear them, but they're not attacking me. So it's kind of spooking me out. Maybe I can just be really quick and get out of here before they start causing too much of a problem or before they realize I am on the outside. No, I don't want to say hello. Okay, fine. Oh, so close. <laughs> but that should be tall enough for the base stone section of our outside wall as I want to do something kind of like this. Oh my gosh, they're spawning on the top. Ah, I thought it was safe up here. <laughs> no, get off my tower. Well, it's your tower, but it's mine right now. I didn't realize they could spawn all the way up here. Oh no. Oh, I forgot. I took my elytra off. Okay. Maybe I just need a second to re 
think things, you know, get my brain back in the right mode. Taking a quick moment, I jump back into the build to build out the front gatehouse for our lovely friends. And here we have some really simple staircases to get back up to the build out of the courtyard if we need to, because who they're being a little, little annoying down there. No, they can come up top. Oh, I didn't plan for that. Ah, okay. Ah. I'm trying to make this look a little ruined out here. So I'm adding in a few wall sections to make it look like the pillagers are just kind of living in the place, but they definitely have not kept it fixed up. No, you too. You know what? I think we need another distraction from the pillagers because my head hurts a little bit. And I, I, I mean, I think we need to plant a field. Not that I just want to leave the build or anything, but like I think right now, immediately, we have desperately, we have to plant a field. To continue on with the northern expansion trend I started today, I thought it could be fun to plant a new field at the end of the current road. Just like it could be fun for you to subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, please double check that you have subscribed so you don't miss out on any future uploads because that would not be fun. No way at all. But here we have a brand new beetroot field coming in. Another brand new field here in the world. Just a wee bit more dangerous for whoever has to uh, harvest this one. Now back to the so lovely and so, so safe pillager castle i want to finish up the ramparts here on the outside before we do any further expansion on the castle itself and we're going to be incorporating a really similar wooden design to like what we did all the way up there which will go to further link these different elements together for the build itself going back to the strip spruce log and stairs to create more of the arrow slits for the pillagers to more easily defend their castle that they definitely built and not pillaged at all or took over in any way shape or form on the inside we also have these really cool archways right here and then to make it a little bit better we could bring in some trap doors to create a bit more of a railing back here if i can squeeze my way out we can place them in perfect then to hide a little bit of the concrete powder and wool that we have let's just cover this all up with the even more of our trap doors because i have a ton of them this cover is definitely helping to keep me safe against the pillagers as they're really struggling to attack and they're right underneath it so i can't hit them i was gonna try and shoot one but we can drop back here hi now we can start to add a little bit of a roof action on and i'm thinking we could bring in most mostly deep slate tiles for this. So many little interruptions while I'm trying to build this thing. Come on now. Behind all the lower slabs, we can add in some stairs. And I'm thinking up here, we can do some more stairs and kind of alternate it. Just to create a few more of our fun shapes. Now that we've got this coming along the front here, I really like it. It's super rough. And I'm thinking on top, I tried it out right here. We can have some iron bars connecting in with a few walls, almost as if this is like a flagpole of sorts. And we can maybe throw some pillager flags of things up there. Then we just extend this down a few blocks. And and add in another wall with even more fences. Inside is in place now, and that's looking pretty... Oh my, I kind of love the pillager being up there. Wait, buddy, can you stay there? Oh, I love it. He's like guarding his castle. We're chill, right? Because I'm building the castle for you. Oh, we're not chill. Are you sure? We're just not... I'm building you a castle. You just... You don't want me to build you a castle. You just don't want it. Okay. Alrighty, back to building the castle. Speaking of building the castle, we can move on to the hall attached to the main tower where I'm going back to that whitewash theme. They've somehow started moving into new lands away from the castle. I might have made a mistake by giving them a proper base. Uh, we'll see how this pans out because at least it looks pretty cool. I'm just going to keep on adding in the spruce layer around here to continue on with that and work my way up the rest of the castle. And of course, spamming in all of the tinted glass behind these different points so that we can fill it in and get that kind of darker ominous vibe back here. Where of course, with all these diagonals, I need a lot of tinted glass in this one. Next up for the roof, I want to transition to combo deep slate and step it up a block and a half each time for something new. And here we have the full structure of the castle build completed. looking like it came directly out of Kingdom Come Deliverance, and I think that honestly works out really well for the pillagers. We're friends now, right? I built you a home. No? Oh, okay. All right, alrighty. All right, backing up. Back, back, running away. I think they said they liked it. I think they really, really like it. With the castle built up, we need to pillagerify it a little bit more. So I've got banners here that I, uh, 
acquired somehow. And all this other dark oat stuff. Some oak trap doors, spruce trap doors, trap doors of trap doors. And lastly, I want to grab a bunch of our smooth quartz here and turn it into some slabs. Honestly, three stacks should be fine. Let's throw the chest piece on and we can start out by adding in a few banners here for our pillagers on the front. You know, as they're just signifying this is their castle now. And then maybe we do a few right along here too. Before I forget this front section, I, this might sound a little dumb, but I really want to trap a ravager inside of a cage. Yeah, yeah, you, you heard that right. A ravager is going to be in this box right in here we'll figure that out eventually i'm kind of going off of the bear cage idea that you see in a lot of games like skyrim or assassin's creed or something where you're exploring around a fortress and they just have random wild animals in a cage i feel like that fits really well for a ravager in a box is it three blocks tall i might need to make this taller Okay, there we go. Now we just have to trap a Ravager in here by beating a raid and doing all that fun stuff. We'll do that later. Yay. Okay, distraction. Where I'm thinking right over here, we can set up a few dark oak fences to try and mimic the tents that they use. And that's where all of our smooth quartz is going to be coming in. And we can just bring that up along the wall back here. Something a little like this. That should do it. I like it. Maybe we bring this side down. We'll bring in some more decoration and put some piles of barrels and chests and things in here soon. Then around the back side, villagers are known for having target dummies. So we can set two of those up right back in here. And I need to get another pumpkin. That can work there. And they are definitely known for having cages with iron golems inside. So we can build some more of those right over here. To keep this one simple, I'm just going to mimic the exact design that the pillagers use already. So we can just build those right back over here. That'll do. Let's go get some iron. Carve in some pumpkins. And we got plenty of iron. Okay, Mr. Pillager, please don't shoot me. I've got you a very, very lovely target dummy here instead. Thank you. Uh, of course. How'd you guys end up in there? Wait, I want to know if this is going to work. I have to know. Now. Hi, buddies. This is supposed to be a cage. Now get him. Get him, buddy. Get him. Get him. Yeah, get down there. Yeah. Well, the rest of them are just, uh, you know, not here. Maybe we can drop our other iron. No, no, don't. No, 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 no. Get in the box. Yes. Sorry I had to do this to you, boys. I've added a few more details around the castle grounds, like this guy right over here, and I'm starting to enjoy it. I haven't done any of the micro details yet, like the chest and barrel spam. As I realized, I forgot to texture these outer stone walls, and they're looking a little out of place. Chest piece on, and down here along the base, we can throw in a bunch of our tough going along. And we can just fill this all back in along where it's supposed to go. Now, above this, you can see it on my hopper already. I just want to bring in a little bit of our cobblestone. It's pretty basic, but I think it's going to do the trick here. It doesn't need to be super crazy. Then right over here, we can bring in a few of our stone bricks and drop that in as just some extra detail we can throw in. And I saw that arrow fly over my head. Same shape, but that makes a world of difference. And then I've also got some oak leaves in here that we can kind of just show growing up along the edge of the castle as if it hasn't been cared for for a while because the pillagers have been here for a hot minute. There we go. That's looking pretty special out here now, just to do it on the back wall. I might regret all these leaves when I'm luring a Ravager around, but that's a problem for future me to deal with. On the inside, we can start throwing around a few random details just to get some extra stuff in here with some shelving of sorts. So they're using our dark oak, and then we can add in a little bit of the... I'm building something for you, man. Come on now. We can add in a little bit of our spruce where we're definitely not going to be bothered at all by this pillager. He's going to leave us alone. Yeah. 
distracting. Okay, he's gonna leave us alone. And then we can put some weapons of sorts are hanging right in there. I think the one looks a little better. Some chests of sorts with our beehives. And I have a lot of actual chests, which we can add around and mix in a few crates and things. And I don't want to over detail this place. It's not like the pillagers are going to move a bunch of stuff in. It's just kind of their campground for now. So something like that works really well in here. Our ravager cave here is a little bit more in the open. I grabbed some doors somewhere, but I don't know where to put them. So I'll have to go find them again later. But we can add a few little extra detail elements around here so that the pillager actually kind of living around with the ravager, showing it's more of their friend and is with them instead of just some crazy beast in a cage. I'm trying to go through the thought process right now while adding in more of these details of what the previous owners of the castle might have had while they were here and trying to think of it in that way. And maybe a lot of that stuff is really just left around for now because over here there might have been some storage or something. So we can add that back in as if they're kind of watching over the golems. And I don't know if this stops villagers from spawning, but I'm going to add a torch here just so that none hopefully spawn inside with the golems just to keep those dudes safe. You know, I do have some item frames right here and I had crossbows somewhere that I had held on to. I don't know, maybe we can grab some more just somehow right here. Oh, thank you. I'll take yours. I'll take yours. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll take yours too. Oh, no, never mind. And for the crossbows, we can kind of just set them up right over here as if they're using them for archery practice. And I do have a data pack on this world where I can shear item frames to turn them invisible. And I think that looks a lot better. Where did all of these just spawn from? <laughs> Wait, they all just popped up out of nowhere. Oh, we got Bad Omen again. Oh, I'll take that banner though. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Another crossbow. We can throw it right in here and shear down. Perfect. Come here, Mr. Cow. Nope never right right this is this is this is a raid farm yo i do need that ravager and i have been carrying around this name tag okay uh we're fighting a raid until we can get a ravager this is this is gonna go this is gonna go great so so great yeah i'm so excited this is gonna be great so absolutely great yeah first wave down second wave's coming from the castle Oh, they still do a lot of damage. Wave two down. I'm going to try and sleep before this gets any spookier. Please, 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 please. Oh, they're so close. And there's the Ravager. Okay, there's the Ravager. What do you... Oh, they're fighting the Iron Golem. Iron Golem, please don't kill it. Okay. Uh, How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Probably put the chess piece on. That's a good first step. And can I name you? Yes, they're named. Okay, Precious, up this way, please. I need my doors. I don't have my doors to put them in the cage. I should have thought this through more than... I guess I just... Uh, okay, I don't know what I'm saying. No, 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 no. No, do not get on top of the cage. I'm gonna go in the cage. You go in the cage. I'll be on top of the cage. You go in the cage. Come on, buddy. I probably should have got a minecart. No. Okay, not fun. Not fun. Get in the cage. Get in, in the cage. And go in. Please, please. Just, you're, so, you're so close. You're so close. You're so close. You're so close. Just stay in the cage. No, no, out of the cage. Did I get him? Oh, I think I got him. Yes. I hate this so much. I hate so much of this right now. I want those trap doors, please. Thank you. Okay, let's go get the doors. They're in. <laughs> oh, right. The raid. I forgot about the raid. Yeah, okay. Um, Let's see if we need to kill Precious or not. I think I took him far enough away that it no longer counts as the raid. Sorry, buddy. A little spooky down there. Ah, my doors. Okay, I didn't think much about this part. Okay, there's one. And two. I don't care that they go the same way. We're not going to fix it. Okay, maybe I can. It, it is It is bothering me. Okay. Great timing there, okay? Wow, look at you. You're so cute. I double checked that you are named, right? You are perfect. Oh, precious. Okay, all in all, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Scary moment there for a minute or two, but easier than I thought. I have lost everybody else who is here for the raid, though. Hello, where are your friends? Oh, okay. That's fine. I think I'm just going to let this one time out here. Uh, it'll wear off eventually. I have no idea where these mobs are. With the Ravager in their new home, the castle itself is completed for the exterior. And that makes me very, very happy to see the Pillager Castle standing tall over this valley. Especially when you look at where we started today. It is a wee bit of a change, you could say. Now I just need to fix all of the plain grass space around it to sit it more in the environment. Are we I recently went through the process of building three new tree types in my super flat world, and I thought they could make a great little forest behind the castle, which means I need some spruce leaves. Please tell me I have some. Yeah, that's that's not enough for a forest, but it's a start. 
Beyond that, I need tons of dark oak fences, fence gates. And lastly, for the walls to be a little thicker, I'm gonna use some nether brick here and turn it into nether brick walls. Before we get into building up the forest, I wanna restock up on spruce leaves. So I flew to the nearby forest and started gathering enough to refill up the full shulker box. There we go, full shulker box of spruce leaves and some extras. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna leave these giant pillars up here and I'm sure future me will not be that mad at the fact of having just chopped spruce logs down without the leaves there. One more step before we get into the actual tree building portion is I want to fix up the train here as it's a little steep to be building any trees on top of. Oh, I did not miss you guys. Didn't miss you at all. All right, I'm back. That is looking much better to build a forest on top of. Wait, what is going? No, no. What is happening here? The raid. They... I think the pillagers. Yep, there they go. They're just coming down from the castle and getting hooked in on the raid. Oh, no. It's just growing. Oh, I need that to time out soon. That could be a problem. Oh, no. They all see me. Oh, okay, I'm getting out of here. Run away. Well, the pillagers are busy down there. I've got a ton of materials up here. And let's see how many trees I can build. I decided to put an hour on the clock and got to work adding in a ton of trees along the back edge of the castle to better attach it into the landscape. It was going great until I'm almost out of dark oak fences. I do really, really like how this is... Oh, that's a tree. I really like how this is turning out so far, though. I think it's working very well. But I do want to bring it back around that edge a little bit further. Make it a touch thicker coming up here. Because right now you can really see through the trees pretty easily. I mean, this this isn't much of a forest here, is it? I mean, I, it's trees, so technically it is. But, you know. The last side is I also want to wrap it down here a touch. Kind of along the road to fill in this open space. And I think that could be really cool. Also, somehow I started another raid, so the villagers are swarming even more. Oh my god, look at them! <laughs> I've never seen villagers do that. I don't want oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh, go visit your friends. I don't want to be here. That is so many. They're swarming. They look like insects. They're little ants from up here. <laughs> it's terrifying. Right. We've got a lot of dark oak logs. And I can make a ton of sticks. This should keep me busy for a while. More materials ready to go, and the forest is starting to look so much denser and just better overall now. But I did run out again, and oh my gosh, what is my poor cow? Look at the mess over here. I think the raid finally ended. They stopped swarming the middle, but oh... <laughs> Are they even gonna despawn? There's so many villagers. I should not have built the villagers a castle. And they are not despawning. Oh no. The cow cow, I'm sorry, you gotta get out of there yourself. There's nothing I can do to help you. And he's definitely tied to a post. So he's a pillager now, right? Well, at least I got a cool forest. Back to the castle. This is looking so much better now with all the trees around it. And finally, it looks like a lot of the pillagers have decided to wander off. I'm gonna need to be very careful here to not start another raid. So bucket of milk is gonna keep us a lot safer. And we'll just get rid of the rest of these. Yep, all right. And now, since I built the field over here, I wanna add a little farmhouse nearby. Excuse me. The castle isn't massive, and I just want this to be a background detail to help support that even further. So this also does not need to be that big. And we can make this come out about here with a slight angle stepping over on it, ending with that for the base. And I like the idea of this one, just adding a little bit of our extra cobble, bringing up a second layer. That can be our doorway. And I probably want a lot of spruce stairs, few slabs. Then we can start bringing in a few more of our strip logs going all the way around that we can include. I'll just put them right there for now for the rest of the wall going up. I'm thinking we go about this tall before we start incorporating a roof, and that's an actual pillager patrol, not even just one from the castle. Oh, great. You know, I could just never get away from them here. Let's 
going to be pretty tight in here, but I would love to add a few extra details in. I am bringing the slab running along the top just to help curve it a bit more so it doesn't get too tall. Then here on the front, I think we can actually bring in a little bit of an extra lip along part of it. I've got a few extra fences left over from when I was building the trees, so we can actually use those to extend this awning out even farther. For the top here, I want to just bring in a little bit of copper for a chimney that we can bring up to here with a campfire and a little wax slab on top. Then for the roof to bring it back in with the castle just a little bit, we'll just bring in some of our cobble deep slate here up into some slabs there and then to run all the way across the top i think we just include our full blocks that way i can just come out here and add in a little bit of an extra extension along and it looks nice This brings us to something right about here, which I am starting to like how it's coming together. I'm really just making this up as we go with very much no planning. Uh, so let's add in a little bit of a course start around here where we can have that connecting into the end of the pathway right now. And I do want to extend this out further. So we'll just add a little bit here for today. Now, because I know I just have the highest quality of all interior builds and definitely just absolutely love doing them. We're just going to add frog lights behind and give them some little shutters. You know, it just gets it's so homey over here. I just really had to include. Wow, it's so nice. We can have a little cart right over here using our composter, oak trap doors, and a little dark oak fence gate. And I like it. This is looking pretty cute. Some nice little flowers because we can. And I need a tiny bit of course dirt looping around this way for lining up to the field entrance. Then to frame in their front yard a little bit more, maybe we extend some of our trap doors out like this yeah i like it it gives them a nice little front yard definitely not the easiest place to live with you know pillager castle right up there but you know i think that helps set the scene pretty well there's a few other details we could add in though as you might expect i added in a big oak tree next to the house and another one slightly farther up the road before reaching the castle i'm gonna be redoing this forest i'm walking through right now soon ish with my new trees because man oh man i really love how this looks right here as we enter into the valley. That is just such a cool opening into the space. And our little house here at the end is looking pretty nice. I think it's time to finally remove our beacon. And there we go, like it was never here. But that right there makes the castle look so much cleaner. <laughs> I love how this zone's turning out. Not only have we built the Pillager Castle today, we've also enclosed the back of the mountain and somewhere in the world is a massive Pillager army that I might have lost, but at least I'm safe for now. This was such a fun project to work on despite all of the Pillagers coming to say hello constantly. So I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like on this episode if you did and subscribe if you're new and i'll catch y'all on the flip side